Mobile's childhood friend, Prime Boy, is said to have been beating Blue Black alongside his mom as he was released from police custody in the ongoing case involving his late friend, Mobad. Hello everyone, you're so much welcome. Prime Boy, if you've been following Mobad's story, is Mobad's very good friend, whom Mobad called to come and join him because he had a show in Ikorodu on the Sunday, the last Sunday before his demise, and they joined them and they did a concert or show together, but was said to have had a fight. If you remember, um, in Mumi's expression at the coroner's inquest, she also said this as well. And also when Adura, that's Mobad's younger brother, gave his own statement at the inquest, he said the prime suspect is Prime Boy. Now Prime Boy has been in custody for a long time. And his mom had cried out at the first time when it just happened and later on, um, just a few days ago, that she's, her son is suffering and still in custody because she doesn't have money. And apparently, money was raised for him. It was even alleged that Obama's father got a lawyer for him. I'm not sure of that very part, I must say. Um, but he secured his release, which ran into millions of naira. And because it's also an Ikorodu boy, yeah, or Ikorodu man. So they said when he got home like this, oh, tell Joe Simi or Joe fed the lorry or roll, but oh, Ikorodu boy say ya deni. One year ati baju ati bamu ati lulu ati go boy. Kani kini kofu yoni shi ya je. They said prime boy was giving severe shi ya je. And not just him, but also his mom. One of for Lenu, one she book work with the hat to um, brush him to the police station for safety's sake. We almost talk about what anywhere by he only lushi lishi. And with somebody who doesn't have security or anything like that, he knew his life could be hanging up there. So, I thought by this station was a case of, I thought to release the crony, Ilenla. To talk about our way, killing cooking, got to fair for good year, boy, and everything. You know, they had to, <laughs> they had to rearrest him. Yes, let's say that word. Maybe for protection's sake or whatever, but you know, it was a case of, am I a color? Yamutu, no, because of course, that feeling of not safe is not a good feeling. One of the best things that can happen to any human being is the, that. Peace and freedom. Hmm. It takes somebody who is in certain situations to understand that money cannot buy freedom and peace sometimes. And your own state of mind must be in a good place before you can enjoy peace or you can enjoy freedom. So, Lulu, we buy in only. And why the Lulu and the Basbos? Well, remember when it was just said at that time that Prime Boy um, where was declared wanted. But he granted an interview to one of the popular print medias, also um um yeah old media, that he didn't nobody declared him wanted. That he came to give his own part of the story and everything, and he make sure mentioned pay awkward yah um bad that yah we enjoy enjoying. Now all of us show but um listen to um cut on so we but um but be be Canada or something something something. I remember the fight between Prime Boy and Muba started when. They finished the show in Ikorodu on that Sunday. They got into the vehicle. But I want to say that one year, people show one. You know how it is. Now only people with these streets go understand. And Mo gave Adura money to go and settle. We are ring leader and one and one guy is in. But Adura was taking too much time. And Mo asked because Mo could not get down. He was the superstar amongst them. To buy bole by a mama obtain a Tony. So, Mo sent Prime Boy to go and beckon on his brother Adura to hurry up. So, Boya told Mo and Prime Fiba, Adura Soro knew both of them rubbed off badly on each other. Probably it's exchange exchange words and everything. But the young shadow dragged around the motto, also continue, so. So, 
Prime Boy was quite taken aback to be like, ah, Mo, your brother is insulting me and fighting with me. And you're here listening to everything. You're not saying anything. And Mo was like, we will, when we get home, we'll settle. And Prime Boy was like, ah, do Bali defend. Do Bali to have broke. Go stop that my insult me. Maybe you'll never make a bro to me. Go insult her. And their plan was after the show, when they go back to um, to Lekki, yeah, because the show was at Korodu, but um, Mubad's house is in Lekki, that they were going to have like a party for Prime Boy's younger brother. So you can see how things just turned and all of that. So Prime Boy is so rotele, though he narrates, all of a sudden he went to another show just days ago to talk, and that is what got the Korodu people. Reportedly feeling insulted and angry that ah ah, but boy, it's a little twisty, bubu story, and everything. And so, he's in a very, very uncomfortable situation. And he's also supposed to like make a statement at the coroner's inquest that was supposed to take place um, yesterday, but he was unable to because the coroner inquest has been moved. If the date we got is correct, they said it has been moved to March. And the question is, ah, our end December 2023. Want to move us in March 2024. For inquest, January, February, March. That's three months. So what is going to happen? That means we can't hear him. Well, different. all of them have been talking to bloggers. Mumi has been talking to Yabojo, whether we like it or not. Ramobad has been talking to several interviewers. Um, Prime Boy No spoke to another blogger. So everybody has a way of talking, but the matter now moved. The coroner's inquest now moved to March 2024. The question is, will Mubad's body be left unburied till that time? I don't get it. Will Nigerians still be on top of the situation like this at that time? Or all tempers will have gone down and everybody will have moved on? Will the case now have been manipulated because... It's just per second, per second that different things are coming up in this case of Millsmith Mobad. In one podcast, you can hear where we said the new information online is that Liam belongs to um, Liam belongs to Obaile Gushi, not Sam Larry again. So before March next year now, hope it will not be all members of the um, parliament that will be allowed to be Liam's father. How many more stories are going to be cooked up? How many more distractions are we going to be able to avoid before the case continues again in March? And that is just coroner's inquest. The case, God, God, there are a lot of cases on ground that has not even been talked about or resolved at all. So, now that Ikorodu boys or Ikorodu people, youths, have decided to fall, Brian Boy Lenu, Kwe, Iwoke, Oh, oh, Nisi Milori Ele, because, oh, Drosi Di Oto, as they allege do, to let it pass the police station, that is Losiki, that is involuntary arrest, or what do we call that? Honestly, this is not looking very good, and um, it's just what it is. We just, nobody prayed that this was going to linger for so long, but there are so many angles to this story that, somehow we still believe that justice should be served. But our energy should be more on the release of the of the autopsy reports. Now the claim said for the postponement of the coroner's inquest that it was moved because the toxicology report was not ready, as alleged in some quarters, or that it wasn't ready. So whenever it's ready, Nigeria will move on. But we just have to get ready for so many series and dramas that are still going to come up in all of this because. There seems not to be a united front. As you're thinking that, okay, everybody's speaking with one voice, the whole thing don't scatter. So for Mr. Prime Boy, that is now the prime suspect, we just, we'll keep you updated on how he's going. He knows if he's been lying. He knows if he's been saying the truth. But one day, no matter how long um, things linger, the truth is going to come out. What's your opinion on this? Please share it in the comment section below. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.